Okay, if you're watching this uh, from YouTube right now, hi YouTube, uh, this is probably gonna go to YouTube, so we'll we'll see about that. We're gonna be watching the trailer right now for the upcoming balance patch for Street Fighter V. I have a lot of thoughts around this patch, and I'm very excited. Um, this is not the first time I'm gonna be watching it, but I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna show the entire thing first, and then I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and comment on a couple of things, okay? That's how we're gonna do it, so... Ready? Let's go. There's a theme here with the patch, by the way. There are a couple of themes that I want to talk about. I'm not very excited to see Yuri in buffs, by the way. Just saying. Kage real fireball? That's a really sick combo, by the way. The Ryu changes look really good, by the way. That they're really nice. I'm honestly not sure what I'm thinking about. What I think about the cell shading filter. It looks kind of weird, but I mean, it's optional, so why not try it out, right? There are a couple of really big changes, though, that I'm very happy about for Ryu, also for Rose. Um, we'll go back and take a look at, like, the OTG that she's getting, very important for her. This mode right here, it's very difficult to say whether it probably looks better in if you're really playing. Um, YouTube conversion probably makes the quality worse for the... the 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 Street Fighter 2 like pixel filter. I'm I'm pretty like I think we can be really happy about like Capcom's um, audio team like the Cap Jams is really really cool to see how much effort they're putting in uh, to the music. I'm very happy about that. So yeah. Available March 29. Not long. 11 days from now. 11 days from now. So it should be good. Should be good. I'm very excited for this. This should be really nice. But um, let's go back and watch a couple of the things that are really standing out in my opinion. Or you know what? Before before we do that, I'm gonna give you like a, a, a little bit. After I saw that trailer for the first time, like. Um, Let's talk a little bit about what I thought immediately. I initially predicted Capcom is going to go through two, two ways they can handle this. Number one, they're just going to give us a boring balance patch because they, they are too afraid to mess too much with the balancing. Uh, that's the first thing that they could have done, um, which I, I think long term might have been okay because then we probably would have had a really balanced game. But it's kind of boring. I, I was kind of hoping Capcom would do more than that. So, route number two, completely ignore balance and give everyone crazy stuff. And that's exactly what they did. I'm very happy about that. Um, it's probably, this is something to really keep in mind. This will 
very likely mess with the balancing. The more changes you introduce within a single patch, the more stuff can be overlooked. And if the balancing for Street Fighter V ends up trash this season, then that's a sacrifice that we're going to have to live with. Maybe they're going to patch things a little bit if it's too broken, but the expectation from the community, in my opinion, should be this is probably not going to be well balanced. But that's okay. We're, we want to have fun. I want to have fun with the game. Final year of Street Fighter V. Let's have some fun. And that's exactly what Capcom is delivering. So let's go back to the uh, trailer and take a little bit... Like, take a look at this. The very first thing that we're seeing here. Where is it? Notice how, right here, like, what did Ryu do? Ryu did medium punch into the crouching fears, but not into the link crouching fears. He did the chain, right? And instead of following up with the target combo, he actually canceled into EX Fireball there. I think this is specifically done for beginners, because beginners tend to have a problem timing the crouching fears to Link. They actually accidentally do the target combo there. This is something multiple people have told me. I've never done this on accident, by the way. But a lot of people uh, on, like, if you're a beginner or you just play casually, this is a real problem. And it's actually addressed because now it can cancel into special moves. So if you don't get the link and you accidentally do the cancel, you'll still get a combo conversion here. So this is kind of nice specifically for beginners. Now, one other thing that is really interesting here is, so, so by the way, I don't think this change right here is a massive buff for Ryu as is. It's just a very nice thing for beginners because they get an additional conversion that they might trigger accidentally and they're still going to be fine. Now, one other thing that is really interesting here is Ryu is doing EX Fireball here and then dash up into EXDP. Now, this is a theme throughout the entire trailer, okay? If you pay attention, then you'll notice that Capcom somehow introduced the ability to go from one EX move into another, kind of like a cancel mechanic. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking about, okay, is this something for Street Fighter VI? Because it's something that I've been thinking about. Capcom should be introducing cancels a little bit more because they are inherently interesting. If you take a look at Street Fighter IV and how cancels were introduced there, people had a blast doing FADC, right? So I was hoping Street Fighter VI is gonna introduce this. And the fact that they're, they're making the combo system more lenient towards like if you add ex moves or potentially a real cancel i'm not sure if th there's a real cancel here or not um that you're going to be spending bar probably not but the fact that there are so many new conversions using ex meter is interesting and potentially a hint at street fire 6. Well, let's take a look at this i mean ed who cares about ed let's just ignore that but here take a look at this here's another example Alex right here getting this and then cancels it. This looks like a cancel. It doesn't look like a normal like link. It looks like a cancel. And I'm wondering, okay, how is this implemented? Uh, are they just adding more leniency here? Yes or no? It's kind of hard to tell. But this is a theme throughout this entire trailer. Also, going from an EX move into a V skill seems to be an important part for Capcom as well. Uh, Poison does this here as well. This is her V skill, right? And she went from an EX move. And we see this multiple times. Here. I have no idea what Ibuki is doing there, by the way. Um. <laughs> also, kind of crazy what V Trigger 2 does nowadays. What is this cancel here? What is this V Trigger conversion? Gil is getting more interesting. Gil is getting more consistent retribution combos. And this is also very important. One of the big downsides that Gil used to have. EX Command Dash. It's it's kind of weird, right? Like the way EX moves seem to play a big role here when it comes to converting. But this for Rose, by the way, huge, huge change right here. Take a look at what she does here. Fourth throw into OTG while she's in V-Trigger 2. 
Um, this is one of the major issues that Rose used to have. She was this character, once once you pop V-Trigger 2 on block, then the opponent was just going to hold down back and you just got to throw. And then you, your entire V-Trigger ran out and then that was it. Now, after this patch, even on block, V-Trigger 2 is going to be dangerous because if you take the throw, you're still going to eat a full combo. So this is a big change for her. Yeah, this crit this is a really nice OTG she's getting here. Urien, like, I'm kind of scared Urien get is getting anything. See, see this though, like this double EX move right here, cancelled from one another. Another example of this EX moves go into more EX moves nowadays. Like, this is a real theme in this trailer. Jury, some nice conversions here. She really needed a buff for that V-Trigger 2. And here is the same thing. Um, I mean, this is not technically EX move into another EX move, but this is another cancel from one move into an EX move, right? Take a look at, at Ken, though. Take a look at how Ken is converting here. Uh, I wish I could slow down the footage a little bit because it's hard to tell, but pay attention here. He does EX Fireball into a V-Skill. It's another example of uh, a situation where Capcom added a cancel from an EX move into a V-Skill, just like uh, we saw with Poison, for example. So EX moves cancel into EX moves way more, and also into V-Skill. This should be interesting. Also, uh, Kage has a real Fireball, in case you just missed it. And this conversion from the... This conversion is really nice as well. The rest, I think... Oh, no, no, no. One more. There's one more really interesting one. Guile, I'm not so sure about this, but pay attention here. Ryu. Obviously, Ryu. Ryu gets a wall bounce on a successful V-Skill. Now, here's my question. Is this wall bounce only happening if you pop V-Trigger? Probably not, right? I'm really hoping this wall bounce is going to happen regardless of whether you cancel or not. Um, because it implies you're going to get Oki if you land a V-Skill too. Just yesterday we had a, uh, um, a conversation. I got absolutely destroyed by Jammers once again because he picked Poison. And I explained in chat that you can't win. You can't win with Ryu. And then somebody in chat pointed out that why not use V-Skill too? And my answer was, because you don't get any Oki. So, if I, even if I have the correct read, I'm not going to be in a winning position after that. I said if he got Oki on the V-Skill 2, then I'd actually pick it against Poison. Now, he's actually getting Oki. Um, so, this is really interesting. One other thing that is interesting is, take a look at this. If you pop V-Trigger 2 here, you'll actually get a deep hit on his DP. Because the only way you can do the uh, Shoryuken, the heavy Shoryuken into the V-Trigger 2, is on a deep hit. So, we can confirm right here, if, if Ryu gets Oki, if Ryu gets the wall bounce, potentially even without the V-Trigger activation, you might get a DP or something after that. It's hard to say, but Oki by itself is really, really great anyways. So I'm very happy about that. This is potentially going to change Ryu in a big way, because now you can play V-Skill 2 a lot more confidently. We'll have to wait and see how good it actually is, or whether there are other changes for Ryu um, that might make me reconsider. But bad matchups like uh, Poison or Dalsim nowadays, V-Skill 2 is going to be a lot more useful. So I'm very curious about that. Okay. And of course, you get... This is one of the major things that I was unhappy about when the patch with V-Trigger 2 came out. I had to make a decision whether I want to spend the V-Trigger 2 conversion or CA. Nowadays, you can do both. Which means Ryu gets even crazier damage output from V-Trigger 2. There's a real chance now that Ryu gets... Uh, like, Ryu play might be optimal with V-Skill 2, V-Trigger 2. Uh, kind of crazy to even think about that. But this might be the most optimal uh, setup after the patch. We'll have to wait and see. That's really all I have to say on this. Very, very exciting in 11 days for me. I'm going to be 
checking out this patch, obviously with you guys. So I hope you're looking forward to this as much as I am. So yeah, for YouTube, I guess take care and I'll see you soon. And for Twitch chat, let's move on. Let's play some Street Fighter.